Hey guys, my name's Sean, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to make your password a lot more secure. While a lot of people don't realize why it is you have to keep your password secure, is let's just say you're doing some online banking. In that case, identity theft can be only one password away. So the application we're going to be using to make a lot more secure passwords is called KeePass. Now to download this application, just go to keepass.info. Under the download section, and on classic edition, press KeePass 1.1.7 for Windows. Now go ahead and run this program and install it. And once you're done, go ahead and open KeePass. Now you're going to see this screen right here. Go on File and then New. Now right here is going to ask you to create a master password. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to make it 12345. And then again, 12345. And by the way, you should definitely make it something a lot more secure. Now once you're here, you're going to go ahead File and press Save. Now what you're doing right now is you're actually saving the database file. Now you should definitely put it in a really safe folder that nobody can find it, but I'm just going to put it in documents right now so it's going to be easier to find. Once you've done that, go ahead and push this button right here, Add Entry, and put it in any group you'd like. If it's something on the internet, put it there, if something for Windows, put it there, etc, etc. For this tutorial, let's just go ahead and make a Facebook thing. So let's press Facebook. The username, just make it your name or whatever. Just make it Facebook again. The URL should be Facebook.com. And the most important thing here is going to be the password. Now you're going to go ahead and press create a random password. Right here uh, is the generate random password screen. Depending on what website it is, it'll allow you to do brackets, special characters, spaces, minuses, and underlines. And you're going to change this up according to what the website allows you to do. Now, once you've done that, just press generate. And this is your password right here. As you can see, it's 115 bits, which is really good for a password. Now, you can push this button right here to actually see what the password that you just generated is. And as long as you press generate, it'll keep on changing them up. Trying anything above 100 is way more than what you need, and it'll just do the good job for you. So after you're done, just press accept, and that's your password. And if you'd like, you can even make it so it expires every week or every month or every year. So you always have an up-to-date password. After this, just press OK. And if you go onto the Internet tab, you'll see your Facebook thing right here. Now, let's just say, silly you, you forgot your password. You're going to go ahead and press on Facebook. And press right here, and it'll show you your password again. Now, for those of you who are curious on how it is that you're going to write this down every time, you don't really have to. If you go again, you just press save changes every time you leave. If you go back to KeePass's website, under the plugins etc page, they have KeyFox and uh, for Firefox, so it'll plug it, it'll automatically plug in the stuff for you, or KeyForm, which opens websites and fills in login data automatically. Uh, by the way, KeyFox is still in beta, so you might run into problems with that. But KeyForm works with Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox, and for it should be coming for Google Chrome as well pretty soon, from what I hear. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.